you can experience the cultures of Ethiopia and Kenya right here in Kansas City. An East African culture and coffee experience is happening this Friday. It's a fundraiser for the nonprofit organization, A Bright Future for Kids. Solomon Dabe is founder of Bright Future for Kids and Danielle Stebbins is one of the board members. Thank you both for coming. Let's get right into this, Solomon. Yeah. Tell us about this experience that's going to happen on Friday. What will we walk in and see? Well, uh, first of all, thank you for having us. Uh, it will be an experience. It's basically we bring in Ethiopians and Kenyans uh, style of life in Kansas City. So people literally can go and see, uh, you know, playing with a different kind of instrument, writing their names in Ethiopian and uh, bring the kids to experience the, mm -hmm. you know, the style of life in Kansas City. So you're going to have an actual house set up or how yes. does this work? Yes, we've got, uh, we, this is the second time actually do, okay. we're doing it. And uh, it's basically we will build a, literally a house in the church for people to go and experience it. It's going to be typical lifestyle in Ethiopia and the way they people are living every day. So that's what we're going to do. What is right. your excitement about this event? So I'm excited that this year we're involving children. So last year we uh, roasted the coffee. We mm -hmm. experienced the traditional Ethiopian coffee ceremony. But this year we're really um, expanding it for kids to be involved. So there will be Ethiopian food to taste. There will be um, all kinds of crafts and activities for them. We have the Ethiopian church choir performing, the United Worshippers Kenyan um, dance performing team there. So it's really just a complete cultural experience. So you can really, not all of us can go, yeah. but we can come and, and get, a, get a feel for what it's like. And we have some pictures of when you've gone to visit in, in Africa, in Kenya and Ethiopia. Um, these kids have such promise and such hope. Yeah. This is helping them how? Yeah, well, this is a, a really bringing the hope in the midst of the situation they are. What helps them is uh, it goes from food to going to school, school fees and uh, uh, supplies. This all is what is provided through this organization. So that helps them and to dream large and uh, see themselves in that yeah. dream. So. It helps a lot. Yeah, they have to have a vision, a big vision. And yeah. so this helps them because when you meet their needs physically and they're able to go to school and they're able to learn and, and have a vision and a dream for their lives for the future, That's there you go. Say. A Bright Future for Kids is really addressing the holistic mm -hmm. approach. So we're partnering with the local church. We have in-country staff. We are walking alongside these families so we can find out what are their individual needs and obstacles that we can help them overcome to get their businesses going, to yeah. set up bank accounts so to succeed. So let's talk about where this is happening and what time so we can get people there on Friday. So it's at Heartland Community Church in mm -hmm. Olathe off of Strangline Road. Um, starts at 6.30 and runs until 8.30. You can find out more on the website, abrightfutureforkids.org. Thank you um, both for coming. We you. really appreciate it. We're thank already you, out of time. You. You're doing a great job. Thank you so much for really having a world impact and people here in Kansas City are helping. We'll be right back.